Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you don't know me already, we do all things makeup and lifestyle on this channel. And today we're going to be doing the super beginner friendly Valentine's Day pink soft glam. So if you want to learn how to do this, please keep on watching. Hi friends, so I already have my base done and we're going to go in with the Va Va Bloom palette. It does have a lot of these pretty pink shades in here. Um, if you have a palette similar, this will also work kind of up to your own discretion, but Morphe shadows are some of the easiest shadows to work with as well as Glam Light and Blend Bunny. I love all of their shadows. So if you have any palettes with like a pink dusty color, it'll work for this makeup look. I've also had a lot of coffee today, so I'm going to apologize right now if I am kind of jittery. <laughs> so I'm going to be using a lot of Wet n Wild brushes. They're like a dollar and I'm obsessed with them. So I don't have to spend a ton of money and if I ruin them, they can just be thrown away. But I've had these for a while and they're still going, so I'm going to keep going with them. I'm going to be taking a P. Louise base. You do not have to. Concealer works just as well. So I'm going to be using P. Louise on my eyeballs. I'm just gonna take like a little, little tiny bit. You wanna dot and dot. I do not like a ton of eyeshadow primer. I feel like, pommel, pommel, pommel. I don't like a ton of eyeshadow primer. I think a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just gonna either blend this out with my finger. I'm gonna take this pinky taupe, pinky taupe shade. I guess. No, I like. I'm gonna take this, this shape right here. I'm gonna put that on our fluffy little brush. And this is gonna be like my transition shade. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna put this right here and I'm just gonna dab the color on and press it into the crease. And I'm just tapping it. To get that color pigment down so just tap the product on into your crease if you have hooded eyes go a little bit above so I have like half hooded eyes so if I look forward like this I'm going to tap right above where that product is where that product is I don't know what I'm saying half the time I'm gonna just tap, 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 tap. And then I'm gonna take little circles. And we're just gonna blend this up to the brow bone. Like that. Now I am gonna take this like taupey mauve color and we're going to put that in the same spot just a little bit lower. And then I'm gonna do my circles and blend it up into that color. That transition shade. And I'm all doing this with the same brush. I have not changed brushes. Now I'm gonna take a mixture of these two brown shades and then I'm just gonna focus that right on the outer corner here. Same brush, haven't changed. Just right on the outer corner. We're just gonna tap that. And I'm not going past halfway of my eye. So take your pupil, look forward, do not go past that. And blend it up into those pink tones but yeah then you gotta get like a little smoky eye but not too intense very soft just blend that out and if you like heavy blush you can blend this in your blush I'm gonna do the other eye you want to use light pressure when you're also blending this out if you want darker pigment press hard a little bit harder if you want lighter use a lighter touch I personally like a little bit of a smokier eye, but you can also leave it right here. So I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade on this end and a little bit of this deep burgundy red. I'm gonna take that 
and just tap just the little as tiny as, I don't know if you can see the amount on the brush and go right on that outer corner. In this one, I'm gonna kind of do circle motions with a very light hand and bring that right into our crease. Okay, now I'm gonna switch up brushes and use a little tiny angled brush. And I'm gonna take that same burgundy shade on the angle brush. And I'm just gonna tap it underneath my lower lash line. And just take it back and forth. And then I'm gonna go back into that fluffy brush and I'm actually going to flatten it and take that and just put that right underneath the lower lash line and blend that pigment out. I don't want this going too far down, that's why I use the angle brush and I'm gonna squish my brush so it doesn't go out too far. And just blend that out. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of that base that we used earlier. You can use concealer for this as well. We're just gonna tap that on the lid. Again, not going past our pupil. We're just gonna tap that. And then you should have something that looks a little bit like that. So now that we have that done, now that we have that done, you can either keep this a matte look and you can use a matte eyeshadow to set this or we can use a little bit of shimmer and make it a little spicy so I'm gonna go in with this shimmer right here and I'm actually just gonna go in right with my finger so I just take that on my finger and I'm just gonna press that onto my eyelid right over that concealer like that so now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again and I'm gonna go back into that burgundy shade just a little bit on my brush and then we're gonna retop that outer corner and then what we're gonna do is feather that in to that shimmer you essentially want to blend the two together You want to stop right here stop right here if you want to keep going keep going I'm gonna smoke out my upper lash line a little bit and then I'm going to pop pop some lashes so I just popped on Colourpop's lippy pencil and love bug and NYX fat lip oil in supermodel and we're done I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below what you want to see next from me and if you like me please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one Bye!